Hello everyone, Trigon here. So, as you can see, we're trying something new today. Uh, I thought about this before, and it was uh, actually a game that I had uh, used to test out recording at one point. Um, in some ways, it's very similar to ARK, but it is uh, strictly a single-player game. And as you might guess, it's ocean-based, not island-based. Now, I have played this before. Uh, I was uh, playing it fairly regularly before uh, before Eek and uh, a couple of our friends got uh, interested in ARK and we started playing that together. But I have not played it in uh, some months now. So, let's give it a try, shall we? Oh, that's right. Let's see. Survival, freedom, or hardcore? Uh... Let's go with survival. Then how long this loading screen will take? Hopefully not too long. But I didn't want you to... If I have to, I'll trim some of the loading screen out. I didn't want you to uh, miss the way the game starts. I think it starts with this bit of a cinematic. I don't really remember. <laughs> So anyways, don't worry, we're not going to uh, stop doing ARC videos. Uh, and then, you know, we had a bit of a gap. We've had a couple of gaps due to technical errors, or in some cases due to my own uh, ineptitudes. Uh, but hopefully we'll try to try to continue the, uh, the plan of having one ARC video every day. Or two, depending on how things go. And... Uh, Maybe on the days so we don't have two ARC videos, we'll have a Subnautica video instead. I don't know, we'll just uh, play it by ear and see how things go. But it does take quite a bit of time to edit and upload videos, so that's going to limit the uh, limit the number of uh, episodes I can actually put out. I'm trying to remember, I think the, yeah, the, the ship you're looking at is the Aurora, which, if I remember right, we are a crew member uh, aboard the Aurora. Uh, I don't think there is any indication of what position we fill on the crew. I think it's fairly certain we're not the captain or the uh, first officer. Probably just a, oh, here it is. Maybe. Attention. Not failure imminent. Personnel abandon ship. Yeah. Launch in three, two, one. No! And I, I'm supposed to have a helper. What the hell? Oh. They left me all alone. You know, this life pod is really, really shiny. Well, it was really shiny. You know, this doesn't look too good. Oh, dear. Oop. Oh. <laughs> I actually, I actually uh, moved my head back when that happened. Oh, this seems a little warm. Uh, there we go. Okay. Uh, how do I... Left mouse button, okay. Uh, uh, how do I use this? Uh, right mouse button, there we go. I, I told you it's been a while. Well, hey, that worked pretty well. Greetings, survivor. Great job not dying. To assist you in further survival in emergency situations, you have been issued this personal data assistant. The interface visible now will organize your inventory, display currently available construction blueprints, and holds other valuable information. Please take a moment to familiarize yourself with it. Okay, so here we are. This is our inventory here. Uh, we've got a wonderful fire extinguisher, and that's about it. Uh, different things are different sizes in your inventory to reflect, you know, how much room they take up. So, 
Uh, lifeline on secure communications offline. Okay, so uh, that's that's pretty cool the way they handled that. And here is our equipped items here, and then this here are our blueprints. These are the ver various things we know how to construct, which you see everything from basic materials, hatching enzymes. I have no idea what a hatch hatching enzyme is. That's new. Uranium? Oh, you can make actual uranium from uranium crystals. Okay. You see, we can also construct uh, have uh, underwater habitats, sort of stuff. Really, really restricting myself. You know, trying to control myself and not say stuff and things. <laughs> Slip, you are uh, uh, um, in, uh, infectious. Okay. And this is our log situational assessment time. Attention. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with ongoing degradation of the Aurora's dark matter drive core due to damage sustained during collision. Continuing to monitor. That's not good. Uh, life point secure, PDA mode, photo album from we take screenshots. Well, that sorting they added. And this is our initial information that we know. Environment suit. Okay. Standard tube earth life pod. Fabricator. Okay, we'll read this later. The Aurora was the ship. Oops, that's not what I wanted. How do I get out of this tab? There we go. Okay. Now, as you can see in the top right, this is an early development build, too. So, uh, um, it's an early release game, just like ARC. Okay, circuit to life pod systems, centers of flotation devices deployed, hull integrity, okay. Here's our storage box. What have we got in here? We got some nu nutrient packs, some water, and some flares. I'm just going to stick that in there. I don't think we need to... Uh, I'm going to have a terrible time doing that. First aid kit, if I remember right. Oh, oh, I guess it's not online. I'm guessing it's not online. Um, wow, we really have nothing, don't we? Uh, goodness. And we can go down, or we can go up. Let's go up. Well, there's the Aurora. <clears throat> you know, I... I, I'm not too certain she's going to fly again. And there's our little life pod, which does not look too good from this uh, vantage point, I guess. Little stairs where we can... I don't think we can click on that, but that's okay. We can just jump in. Uncharted ocean planet, oxygen, nitrogen, atmosphere, water contamination, high. Uh, I don't know what that means. Does not sound good. Let's go in the water. So this is a water-based game, essentially. Let's see. Our number one stat on the top left is, indeed... Ooh, hey. creature discovered. Ooh, we got a little fishy guy. A peeper. Um, you can see the number one stat we need to track is... Okay, great. How do I break the limestone? That wasn't there the last time I played this game. Picking up a couple crystals. I don't even know what we need, to be honest. I'm just swimming around. Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh, well, it's nice of them to remind us like that. Okay. So let's get back to our survival boat here. In order to make repairs, we're going to need a welder. So let's see what we're going to need to make a welder. Okay. Resources. Personal. I think it's personal tools. Scanner, a welder. We need magnesium, crash fish powder, and titanium. Ugh. Silicon rubber and titanium for... We might need the knife first. Laser cutter for cutting things open. Silicon rubber here. We need creep fine seed clusters for that. Okay, well, 
Is it getting to be night? No, I don't think so. Let's head out here. Okay, so we need creep vine seed clusters. Those are creep vines over there. Now, I do know that there are some nasties. Oh, we got another. Oh, we don't need these guys out. There are nasties in amongst these creep vines. Um, whoa! Yeah, like him. Swim away! Swim away! Oh, good. He left us alone once we got far enough away from him. Emergency. Ten yes, yes, I know. I'm low on oxygen. I want to get some of these creep vine clusters. Oh man, these things are everywhere too. Oh dear. Okay. Let's get into water here. Now, this thing to me is we always have that marker in the, our HUD showing us which direction the life pot is. Escape scary fish and got some of the stuff we need here. Let's see, we can now make some silicone rubber. Excellent. Wow, we can make three silicone rubbers. And four silicone rubbers. Wow. Okay, we can make some glass. I don't think we need any of that. Uh, oh wait. Oh, that's right, we can cook stuff. I forgot about that. I mean, I knew we could cook food, I forgot it was done in this. Okay, so, equipment, no, tools. Oh, we can make these, let's make these. That will make us go faster in the water, I like that. I like that idea. Going faster is a good idea. Now we just need some titanium so that we can... Uh, let's see. There. Oh, and it automatically... Ah, darn it. I'm going to hit escape every time. Uh, right mouse button to switch containers. Okay, cool. So we've got those in there. So we've got our flippers on now, so we can swim a little faster. And I think the sun has gone down. Yeah, the sun has gone down. I don't want to go swimming around at night. I don't really hate to say it, but uh, this is too hard to see. Well, let's take the plunge and see how bad it is. Let's see a little bit. Find some titanium. You know, if we can find a piece of wreckage from the ship, if we can find that, that will have some titanium in it. Oh, these little guys. Uh, those little guys uh, have water in them, so we can. New creature discovered. We can turn those guys into water. We can drink. So. Emergency. Ten oh. seconds of oxygen remaining. You know that's really a nuisance, and I really do not want to swim closer to the ship. A couple of reasons for that. Uh, one being, of course, radiation. Which, I guess it hasn't exploded yet, so uh, maybe the radiation isn't too bad, but I'm not taking any chances. Uh, oh, another one of these guys. Wait a minute. See what I mean? Really, I just can't see where I am, what's going on around me. Titanium, titanium. What on earth? Oh.
I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I'd swear the first time I played this, I started out with more stuff than just just flares and that Warning. thing. Local radiation readings exhibit with characteristics consistent with total degradation of the Aurora's dark oh, matter dear. drive core. A quantum detonation will occur with a probability of 85.5%. Advise observing a one kilometer safety range. This is not going to be good. You know, I don't know how far away we are from home, but uh, I'm guessing it's far enough away that we are going to get there in a life pod. Even if it is life pod number five. Come on. Uh, okay, I thought it was going to do something. Maybe not. Okay, what were we doing? Uh, we were trying to figure out what on earth uh, we've got to use here. Uh, some acid mushroom. I didn't mean to pick that up, but okay. Not sure what those are used for. Got a little extra water. That'll help. Man, hey, those bladder fish did I catch? So we can drink some water. Okay. And we will transfer that over there. I do like how it neatly organizes things. It always drives me nuts when things aren't organized. Let's see how things work. Oh, good. The sun's coming up. I'll make it so we can get out and do some stuff and things. Let's jump off the back here. Okay, that's... Have they changed this map, or does the life pod randomly start in a different location? Because I don't remember this. I mean, there was the the little creep find... Ah, oh, here we go, some wreckage. That we can make into titanium. Or extract the titanium from it, however you want to look at it. Uh, let's see. Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. There's some more wreckage right there. Excellent, excellent. And as I was saying before, you can see how those are bigger. They take up four spaces on our... Okay. Cool, so now we can come in here and we can make ourselves titanium out of the wreckage. Emergency. Seismic readings suggest a quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive oh, core. Dear. The central dark matter reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Oh dear. Is that another life pod there? Oh. Is the drive core in the front of the ship? Why did the front of the ship blow up first? I want to know what that is there, but I'm not going any closer to the ship than I need to. Oh, that does not look good. Oh, and the radiation is gone. Up. Let's let's go inside. I don't like that. Okay, um, right, okay, let's not, not die if we can avoid it, let's take this out, we'll come over here, we'll go to tools, and yes, we can make ourselves a knife. We can make ourselves more than one knife, apparently, but we don't need more than one. Okay, we make it. Magnesium and titanium. Oh, man, I'm just sort of feeling like we're not going to be making that in the near future. Glass. Wait a minute. Didn't I? Uh, didn't it say I had enough stuff to make some glass? If we can get an air tank, that would be fantastic. Okay, here. Glass. Yeah. All 
awesome. Look here, equipment. O2 tank. Oh yeah, and that would be able to stay underwater longer. What's this here? A pipe? I don't need a pipe. A radiation suit would be nice, but I think we can do without that for the moment. Still suit. Ingredients unknown. Okay, great. First aid kit. Bleach and fiber mesh. Bleach is made with salt and coral samples. Could find seed clusters for lubricant. Magnesium uses salt. Okay, good. So we know we need magnesium. And we need to make the ex or find some of the explodey fish stuff. Okay. Woohoo. Excellent. Okay. Down we go. Whoops, or up we go. It's not what I had in mind, but I wish you could see what that is. I am not going that direction, though. Let's go off. It's got a five on both sides. Yes, it does. Okay, well. Huh? Do we have a sprint? I don't think we do. No, it doesn't seem so. Okay. And we have to deal with these jerks. Okay, crash powder. Now, you'll see along the surface, you'll see, or on the, on the, you know, on, on the rocks, and sometimes on the ocean floor, you'll see these little, um, like lumps, these little d deposits. And those things... So I don't want to pick up much stuff we don't need because we don't have storage room for it. Okay, let's go up for air. Let's see what's down there. I don't know if that's more crystal or salt. There's some tunnels. Let's check this tunnel out. This is a nice little spot here, sort of protected. So we got. Oh, these guys. I think that's salt down there, though. Try to keep clear of those guys. They don't like us too much, so you can just. I thought I had to break those loose with uh, the knife, but maybe not. Maybe I could have picked them up without it. Okay, we got a little bit of salt. Caution. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. So now we get a 30 second warning as well as the 10 second warning since we have the uh, air, uh, air tank. Okay. I'm gonna check out these, uh, this debris here from the crash. Sometimes you can find really useful stuff like a bag, a luggage bag. Well, that's, I don't think that's useful unless they've changed something. What's this? A sea glide fragment. Oh, I need an analyzer. Oh, goodness. What's this? Looks like a fragment of something, too, but I don't know what. Okay. Let's so back to the surface here. Oh, I'm trying to remember how on earth to get the crash powder. I know that there is the cra uh, crash fish that you can get it from, but I thought there was some place else you could get the crash powder without having to deal with them, because they are dangerous little fish. What on earth is that thing? I don't seem to be able to do anything with it. That's interesting. Okay, right click to hit stuff. Left click to pick stuff up. And yeah, I... Oh, look at this. This is pretty cool. Oh, and we're lagging. I, it isn't lag fun. We just all love lag, right? 
that's cool. Oh man, we're almost out of oxygen. That's... Whoa, I don't know why all of a sudden we just started lagging like crazy there. I'm gonna get away from those guys. They aren't hostile, but they spew out something nasty that does indeed hurt us. Whoa, let's get away from it. What on earth? It's like... See that little cloud that he squirted out of his butt there? I wanted to get in here and check this out. And I apologize for the lagginess. So here's what I was talking about. Oh, left click. <laughs> I'm sitting there right clicking and nothing's happening. Okay, this is interesting. A little cavern here. Crash fish. Well, we found one. Let's see where we get the crash stuff from him. Well, good. We got that taken care of. Uh, we better get out of here. I thought there was an exit. Here it is. I was say, I thought there was an exit, but I can't find it. Okay. Let's head back. I need to... I don't remember what all we needed now for the welding torch. Now, as I said before, the welding torch we can use to uh, to repair things, so we can start repairing our, our life pod and get some of the systems working again. Let's get this. Whoops. Let's not get that guy. Where'd he go? Oh. that and we're back aboard okay but that's going to be it for this episode uh if you like the episode uh, if you enjoyed watching it please smash that like uh, button if uh, you're not subscribed already please subscribe and uh, we will see you again in our next video thank you for watching